What up, everybody? Uh, it's Phil Risen back here for another quick bit. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I just ended up uh, watching the Locks and Dipset whole versus battle. Shit is crazy. It's still going on. I'm actually recording this while this shit is going on. I just had to talk about it. I think Jadakiss might be the new king of New York. Let's get into the video. Oh my god, dude. Just like every, just like I was saying before, uh, I, I had to do this. I had to do this. I was just so hyped. Uh, this video is going to be quick, but I feel like I had to discuss this about uh, Jadakiss. You know, a lot of people talk about who the king of New York is and stuff like that. You know, the whole Jay-Z, Nas, and obviously uh, for a lot of reasons, people are going to say that Jay-Z definitely is the king of New York. I mean, he's a billionaire. He is a hip-hop legend. Uh, people would do anything to be on a song with this man, but I have to bring another king into this conversation, which is Jadakiss. Jesus Christ, just from tonight, just from tonight watching this solidified everything I had already believed in that man. I mean, I'm, I'm a huge Jadakiss fan, especially from back in the day. I mean, growing up, I think in the early 2000s, you couldn't grow up without listening to Jadakiss or Dipset uh, or, or both, you know what I mean? That was just the era that they were in. Uh, so congrats to the two uh, groups that were just killing it. But I have to just hats off to Jadakiss as a whole because simply like, let's be real here. The locks are great as a group. Sheik Lush killed it tonight. He killed it. Uh, Styles P killed it as well. But truth be told, it was Jada versus Dipset. I mean, are we, you know what I mean? Like, I love the other two members, but if we being real here, was it not Jada versus Dipset? Come on now. Come on now. I mean, this shit was crazy. Like, first off, uh, you know, I've I had never really watched uh, Jadakiss do a versus battle. Well, I saw the I saw the old one that he had, and like that was cool. But I'm saying to watch him in his own element in a real battle format, like he is right now. I'm literally staring at the TV because I can't stop watching. I got him muted right now, but the shit is crazy. But to watch him like that, man, like he really brought the competitiveness, you know, uh, which is a whole thing because I think a lot of times rap started out super competitive. And then it got very, very violent, and now things have kind of toned down, and they're trying to have the love without the competitiveness. But I think you can actually have both, and I think Jadakiss showed that tonight. You know, Jadakiss brought back old school hip hop, like late '80s, early '90s hip hop, where you battled. You know what I mean? He was bringing that element, that energy, to the whole entire thing, and that's why the locks blew out Dipset way out of the water. It was no contest. I mean, anybody, you know, lay it out in the comments if you want to, if you disagree. But truth be told, he laid every he laid everything out. The locks laid everyone out. It was it was nice and easy, and it was easy pickings because this dude came out with energy. You look at Dipset, and you can tell they haven't rapped in, like, over a year, you know, and which I'm not even holding them to. The pandemic, shit is crazy and everything like that. But Jadakiss, you could tell he's somebody you could wake up at 3, 4 in the morning, ask him to spit bars, and he's going to spit it impeccably. And he brought that whole energy of just a winner. Just a winner, man. Everybody else was just, you know, a bunch of uh, sheep in the lion's den, man. This dude is talking shit as well, too. Pointing out the fact that they're basically just lip syncing, lip syncing which was prime hip-hop beef bullshit. Like, the shit talking is back. I think this is what we need, man. I think this is what we need. I mean, I, I started with the whole Cassidy thing. Talking about Cassidy and Tory Lanez. You know, and I was proud of Cassidy. Uh, coming at Tory Lanez for stealing his swag. Even though I personally think Tory Lanez is a bit of a better rapper, I respect it because a lot of these things need to happen. I think there's a lot of people who, who separate old hip-hop and new hip-hop in a lot of different ways. And I think when uh, people try to come correct as if, like, you know, call out somebody who's stealing their rhymes or they're trying to be more in battle mode like Jadakiss, I think a lot of people think it's actually kind of corny or a little put off by it because that's not something that happens in this today's era. But I'm saying that is something that we need. A lot of these old dudes, you know, at least to me, they don't look corny. You can do it in the right way. There's a simple way, like there's uh, the corny way, which is kind of like, you know, Ghostface stepping into action Bronson. It's like, all right, dude, I'm sorry that his voice sounds like yours. And he definitely is emulating your style, but you got to just, you know, let things be. You know, it's his time now. Do your thing. Keep, pro keep progressing with your career. But when you do something like how Cassie did, where you just came out and blatantly was like, this dude's stealing my rhymes, makes a you know a funny picture of the dude, puts out a diss track, that's real hip hop. You wanna, you know, face somebody face to face on a stage, and when they're doing all these old songs and they're out of breath at the hits that 
their fans know better than they do and then you decide to do a freestyle, that's real hip hop. And I think this man knows exactly what he's doing, which is why I think he needs to have this crown of King of New York. Because truth, truth be told, I mean, Jay-Z, yes, he's a huge mogul. He's, he's massive. But he's almost too big in a sense. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, he's King of New York, but he's just king of hip-hop in a way. Like, we need our own regional local dude out here who is hip-hop's representative. And I feel like that is what Jay Kiss is. He's here for the culture. He's bringing back competitiveness. And he's also showing love because you saw how he defused the whole situation with both their posses in the back. And, you know, shout out to Dipset, too, for also de-escalating that whole thing because it doesn't need to be, you know, fist thrown or nothing like that. It's all about the bars, man. So, you know, next thing, next time you're having this conversation about who rules what or whatever, just make sure to put on a little bit of locks. Pull on all about the Benjamins, you know. Put on whatever Jada Kiss track you can. Personally, I love the album The Last Kiss. I have that on repeat tonight. Thank you. And that's been another quick bit. I'm Phil Risen. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And let me know if you disagree with me, too. Because, hey, it is what it is. This is only YouTube. All right. Peace. Go ahead.